friends, my name is Becky and this is Acre Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make the absolute easiest mayonnaise ever. You just need one simple key tool to do it. And for years I tried to make mayonnaise the hard way. I tried to do it by hand, I tried to use the KitchenAid, I tried using a food processor, I tried using a blender, and more times than not I would end up with a split mayonnaise, which basically means the oil comes out and it just becomes this oily, greasy mess and it's just gross. And you waste a lot of money because you waste a lot of oil. And so let me show you how to make the absolute easiest mayonnaise that's foolproof and it'll work every time for you. All you need is the oil of your choice. Today we're going to use olive oil, but you could use grapeseed oil, avocado oil, canola oil, basically whatever kind of oil you have on hand that you like. I like the olive oil flavor in what I'm going to be using this mayonnaise for, so that's why I'm going to make this. But if you wanted a neutral mayonnaise, use avocado oil or canola oil. I have some pink Himalayan salt, some eggs, a lemon, a jar that you're going to make your mayonnaise in. I just have a nice lemon squeezer that makes it easy to squeeze lemons some mustard, whatever kind of mustard you want, and a hand blender. This is what you need to make the easiest mayonnaise on the planet. Homemade mayonnaise is a game changer. You can do a million different things with it and it only takes about 30 seconds to do. Let's get right into it. All you're gonna do first is crack your eggs into the bottom of a jar, add a little salt, about a cup and a half of the oil of your choosing, a tablespoon of mustard. Mustard is a great emulsifier. The juice of half a lemon. Make sure you use a wide mouth jar. You're gonna turn on the hand blender and leave it at the bottom for about 15 seconds. Then you're gonna slowly move the blender up and down until you get all the oil incorporated into your mayonnaise. If you don't have a hand blender, I really would recommend you get one because if you've seen any of my other videos, I have tons of videos where I use that hand blender and it just makes working around the homestead so much easier. I'll leave the link in the description box. I have a Cuisinart of the one I have if you're interested in checking that out. I'll leave a full recipe down in the description box below if you're interested. And just like that, in a matter of, I don't know, what was that, 30, 40 seconds, you have homemade mayonnaise. Mmm. The awesome thing about making homemade mayonnaise, one, the taste is outstanding, way better than store-bought, and two, you get to choose the ingredients. You get to choose what oils you want. If you looked at the ingredients in store-bought mayonnaise, some of the ingredients are a little bit sketchy, and when you make your own, you know exactly what's in it, and it doesn't take a ton of time. The most important thing is that you have a hand blender. I've tried doing it in a ton of different ways and this by far is the easiest way. But the most important thing is that I hope you're encouraged to try homemade mayonnaise. It's not scary, it's super doable, and you can do it too. What I'm gonna do with this homemade mayonnaise is I'm gonna make some homemade potato salad. It's gonna be 90 this weekend and we haven't had potato salad in a while and I thought that would be a nice thing to have on this really hot day. If you guys found value in this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. If there's anyone that you think would enjoy this video, please share it to them. If you wanna watch any more of my videos, a bunch will pop up right here if you're new and you wanna see those. If you wanna see what's coming out in the future, what I have going on in the garden, go ahead and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye guys.